Welcome to Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. There's a lot of reviews out there for Red Dead Redemption 2, but they're all from these like big, fancy professional websites. And I wanted to know what regular gamers like you or me thought about the game. So I logged on to VR chat dressed as Tigger and compiled a full Amazon review of Red Dead 2 by gamers for gamers. Bunny, I'm just telling you right now, I'm Kermit the fucking game, not Kermit the street. Hey Kermit, um, I'm doing a review for Red Dead Redemption 2. Could you, what would you- Oh, he's going to be our- What would you score the story of the game? Like, I, I haven't played the whole thing yet, but I need to come up with a score. I, I, I haven't played the game. Need more I, I don't, I've never played that game. Like, I haven't played either. Can you, can you give me like a guess or something? Just help me out a little bit. Like, what, what would you, what would you guess your review is? Definitely. Now you're okay. going Shut the fuck up, Scooter Shut Man! Up, Kirby, the game. I will f*** you wherever you're I will f you. But <laughs> score of one to ten. All right, I'm bending over. Seven point five. How come? Given an average. I don't know. Well, a five would be an average. Giving you a random. Fucking fuck it, five. Um, I don't know why. I just it just looks nice. Actually, no, seven point five because it looks nice. First off, the graphics look very nice. Well, okay, but this is just for I the like story, though. Just. Like, I'm just reviewing the story oh, section of it. Oh, just based on story. Okay, then it'll yeah. be an average five. Okay. It, can you give me anything to back that up at all? Like, I need something to justify that. Well, I mean, the character development so far, in, like, in the story, like, we learned, like, the backstory of everyone. And that's... I like that about the story, because you learn everyone about everyone. Shoot! Shut the fuck up! I will fuck you. Um... But I like how they develop the characters, though. I've watched some gameplay. I don't know. I just like that. I just like some of the characters in the story. That's it. All right, that makes sense. I appreciate it. Thanks for the help. No problem. Well, I guess, uh... Are we gonna still do that thing? Like, what are we doing? Yep. Hey, have you played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? I don't. How would you rate the baths in the game. So like bathing is actually a pretty big part of the game now because you get dirty and then you have to like pay for a bath. What what would you review it? I think eight is a eight is a good number. Why are you giving it an eight? I, I need to tell people why it's an eight. Um it sounds great that you can take a bath and get clean. But it sounds like an eight. <laughs> It's a great eight. All right, that sounds good. Hey, what's up? Oh, hello. Hey, have you played Red Dead Redemption 2? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Gotcha. Um, how would you, so I'm doing a review for the game and one of the like cool features in it is facial hair. So basically it's like your dude grows facial hair like a beard while you're playing and then you have to actually shave to get rid of it. Like you can avoid the police by changing your look. Could you give a, like a score from one to 10 on facial hair? Um, well, I guess that's a, it's actually, uh, facial hair for the game would be great because as you said, you can change your look in the game just by shaving. So yeah. you have, a, say you have a giant beard, you do something illegal, they're going to fight you and you just run away, shave off your beard, and then you can use the background noise. So, and then you can just like, you can avoid the police. So yeah, like facial hair in the game is amazing. That's great. What would you rate it on a scale of one to 10 though? Cause, cause I'm doing like a review for the game. 10. You know? 10? Oh, okay. Uh, probably, yeah, 10, yeah. Or, no, actually, yeah, 10. All right, well, cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Welcome. Have you played Red Dead Redemption? No? Gotcha. Um, Xbox or PS4? Uh... Was that a yes? Xbox. Sorry, okay, I'll make this nod for Xbox and then shake your head for PS4. Okay, so, okay, PS4 then, okay. Yeah. Got it, okay. Hey, I'm writing a review for Red Dead Redemption 2. And I need some help. What, what score would you guys give to the gun gameplay? I've not played the game. Well, like, what would you, what would you guess? Um, based on what I've seen, I give it six uh, or seven, six or seven, based on what I've seen. Because and what I've played of GTA Five, I give GTA 5's gunplay a five. 
I'd give this maybe a 7. There's like small things you can do, like an extra trigger, like fire of the trigger will like lock the gun or something like that. I mean, it seems like you're actually pretty well researched on the game for not having played it. Oh yeah, gunplay's a huge deal for me, like if there's a gun, if the game has good gunplay, Hello. that it's Hello. what makes it fun. Like I want to go into uh, making game systems, so it's like shooting models is one of the things that you need to deal with. Well, thanks for the review. So, 7 out of 10. I'd based off just... But also, I would just put... This is based on observations, not actual impressions of the gameplay. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Because otherwise, people are just going to be like, um, so this person thinks that this, like, actually play this and think this is bad? And I'm like, no, I've never played it. I have not played it. I will play it once it's on PC. Makes sense. All right, well, have a good one. Appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Hey, Ron. Have a nice day. Hey, excuse me? How would you rate the graphics in Red Dead Redemption 2? I'm doing a game review and I just need a score from 1 to 10. Hey, uh... Yeah? Have you played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? No. Uh, they use the color red a lot. Like that's like the recurring, you know, color that they use for all their graphics. Uh, what score would you give that? Like the color red? I don't know, like eight out of the ten. And then what's what's your reasoning? Because blood. I I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to make a review on a game we've never played. Hey, have you played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? No, I don't. What score would you give the cars from a 1 to a 10? Presto, it is a girl with a penis. 5. Okay, why a 5? Because I like cars. BMW F36. Hey, has anybody here played Red Dead Redemption 2? You know, right? In that game, right? If it's cool, the horse's testicles shrink. Oh. That is a serious thing. What would you give the score for uh, horses in the game, scale of 1 to 10? Probably, I'd say he'd give it a 9 at least. Just for horses or for the whole game? Yeah, for the horses. Again, it's really realistic and like, you could actually move around with the horse and it takes a long time to actually train one. Yeah, and apparently if the weather's cold, the testicles shrink. It'd probably only be a 6 if it wasn't for the shrinking testicles, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Do you spend a lot of time uh, looking at testicles, by the way? Um, only on horses. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, no worries. See ya. Later, man. Thanks. Averaging all the scores, VRChat gives the game a 7.43 out of 10, with special praise for the graphics, horses, and BMW F36. A link to the full review can be found in the description below. Hope you found this helpful and informative. It was a lot of fun. Never mind. Amazon banned it.